Hi, this is Bill from Hiragari. Thanks so much for watching. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of QLab, give you an introduction to how you can use it to play back, to edit, to program, to layer music and sound effects for your next school play, school musical, drama night. Uh, it's a fantastic piece of software. It's 100% free, which is great for those resourcing budgets. If you are a dance, a drama, a music teacher, this is the tutorial for you. Over the next eight minutes, I'm going to show you three really simple but very effective ways you can use it in your next production. So grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's get going. After downloading and installing QLab from the website, link below, you'll be faced with this. So we're just going to start with a new workspace. So when you first load up QLab, you'll see this main Q list. Currently it's empty, so let's start putting some things in. What I suggest is you collect all of your audio files that you want to use in QLab and put them into one folder so that you can easily find them. Um, we'll just start off with the simple school bell. I drag it in and if I hit the go button with the space bar or by clicking on it with the mouse, the Q plays. What's great about QLab is it will not automatically continue on to the next cue. So it's great for things like dance nights, it's great for sound effects where you want to be able to trigger everything as you're watching it, and it's pretty instantaneous. We can customize a little bit, which is also great. When I come in here and click into time and loops, I get a look at the waveform here. So let's imagine that my bell sound currently It goes for about four seconds. So let's imagine that I wanted to start it a little bit shorter, a little bit further in. I can drag in this playhead and that's where it will start from. I can also do the same thing at the other end. There's all this silence at the end that I don't need. And I can also drag in and do it that way. So that's a really cool feature on QLab because it means that if you want to make small adjustments or small edits to timing, you can do so without having to load everything up into an, another editor like Logic or Audacity or Pro Tools or something like that. Let's try something a little more complex. Let's imagine that we have a telephone ringing on stage and then we have an actor walking on stage to pick up that telephone. The only problem is, is we don't know exactly when the actor is going to pick up that telephone. So how can we accommodate for that? Well, in QLab, it's really easy. I have my telephone ringing. I have my telephone pickup. What I want to do is have Q1 ring and then Q2 cut off Q1, just like it would if you were picking up a telephone for real. So what I'll do is grab a stop cue, drag that after Q1 before Q2. Then I'm going to click on Q1. I'm going to drag that onto the stop cue, and that makes the target of the stop cue target one, which is the telephone ringing. What I'll then do is come down to continue and I'll select auto continue. So now when I hit the stop cue, it will auto continue onto the next cue. And that sounds like this. and the telephone is answered. Really simple. Let's try something even more complex. So let's imagine that I have a dark and stormy night. The scene begins with a clap of thunder. And then I would like to introduce some rain. So I'll go to my thunderclap, tell it to auto continue. And now if I trigger that cue again, my reign begins. I'd like to have a line of dialogue punctuated by a dramatic thunder crash. And I can do that because QLab will continue to play any file until it's told to stop or until the file runs out by default. So now I can have my scene begin. I have my reign going on underneath. My characters are conversing. A dramatic line of dialogue is delivered and punctuated by a thunderclap. 
The final thing I might need to do is create a fade out so that the lights can fade out with the sound as the scene comes to an end. Your sound operator could do this, however it's much simpler to leave the QLab output up at the same level all the time and do things within QLab. So what I'll do is create a fade by clicking on the fade tool. I'll set the target of that fade to be the City Alley Rain queue. I'll tell it to stop the target when I'm done and the final thing I'll do is come here to the master fader and set the final value of the master fader minus infinity which is the same as zero. And now if I run this queue, I get a short fade out of the alley rain. I can adjust the length of that fade by going into curve shape and I can change the duration if I wanted, say, a five second fade, I can do that as well. Now the whole thing. Let's imagine that your director wants you to bump up that thunderclap just to give the audience a scare. All you need to do is click on the cue, go to the audio levels tab and you can drag it up plus 12 decibels or you can enter in a level higher if you need. That's a bit crazy, let's try it at plus 6 decibels. And it's as simple as that. Finally, I'll come up here, I'm going to save my workspace, save it to my desktop, inside my QLab tutorial folder. Now let's imagine that you put together your entire show, it's sitting on your laptop and you want to put it onto somebody else's laptop or share it with a colleague. If you go to File, Bundle Workspace, What it will then do is create a folder, it will copy all of the audio into that folder for you and it will give you a QLab file. So you can just take this whole folder, hand it over to anybody else and they can load up the show and it'll run with all of the assets included. So QLab is a really powerful but simple piece of software to use. You can get as detailed into it as you need to be. Straight out of the box, the free version does pretty much all the audio stuff that you'll need for most applications. The paid version does allow you to do some more video stuff, uh, multiple video outputs and blending projectors and things. It also lets you do multi-channel output so you can do things in surround. But like I said, the free version is there. It does stereo playback, good to go. One of the things I love about QLab is that you don't have to buy it to get access to those extra features. You can rent a license. I think it starts about $4 a day. So I've done it in the past. Instead of paying $900 for a piece of software that I'm not going to use most of the time, I rent a license for the week of the production. Set it up during tech week and there it goes. So it's really, really uh, modular and really great if you're in that school situation with a limited budget. And if you have any comments, any questions, any tips of your own, please put those in the comments below. I do read and try to reply and help out wherever I can. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the like button. If you want to see uh, more videos, uh, music sound design, music technology uh, tutorials and videos from me, please subscribe and make sure you hit the little bell icon so you get a notification whenever I post something new. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.